Scoot up for a second and let's talk. Yo, DJ, roll that beautiful champagne footage. Welcome to Champagne Secrets, where the bubbles are crisp, the secrets are smoother than silk, and the gossip flows like the finest champagne. Big up yourself, Empress. Glasses up to the streets that never sleep and to the secrets running deep. Let's get it. Champagne Secrets. Welcome to Champagne Secrets, baby. <laughs> Come chill with me, the Empress, in the secret chalet located in Champagne City for some grown discussions and bubbly banter. Over here, we give classy with a twist, huh? A little clink and chaos, huh? It's never our intention to tear down or berate, but sometimes you gotta give it back the way they put it out. <laughs> we try to keep it cute. So if you're ready to sip, savor, and spill, then come on in. And if you're one of our non-alcoholic kind of confidants, then grab your non-alcoholic bubbly and get in here. On your way in, hit that like and subscribe and that notification bell so you'll be notified when we drop a new show. For today, I'm sipping on Moet and Chandon Nectar Imperial Rose France Sparkling Wine. <laughs> you see it because I liked it so much we decided to run it back for the one time. <laughs> So now let's get into this baddies is tea. So the scene opens up with House B turn up. And when I tell you House B is such a vibe, they are such a vibe. They created a dance and they're vibing with the dance in Pier 1. Biggie on the mic got the girls jumping and hollering. And this is what we've been waiting on all season. I mean, this is a Jamaica trip. So why are they not enjoying Jamaica? You are in the home of the dance hall. And ain't nobody dance hauling. Just Fight Club 1.0. They should have left the drama in the States and gave us a show of the island. If this is what they have planned for Baddies Caribbean, then I'm going to have to log off because I'm over all the fighting. I understand there's going to be drama. It's a bunch of women. Immature women at that. So I get that, but damn, give us something more. <sighs> they so lit. You even have Natalie and Scotty in the background dancing along with them. <laughs> I know they wish they was vibing with them the whole time because House A is just trash. So my question is, is it just me or is House B more peaceful and getting along more now that Smiley is gone. That's why I keep saying there was more to that whole situation with Smiley than they just didn't believe her and just weren't messing with her in the first place, right? Anna says you can see where the good energy is at, right? And you can. You can see House B is the house with all the good energy. Then it flashes to Suki and Roly having this conversation and this is what I'm talking about. Real baddie-ish. You feel me? Real baddie-ish. Put on your big girl drawers. No pun intended. <laughs> no shade. And talk it out. Then we flash to House B. And they're talking about how lit they were the night before. When they were at Pier 1 in Jamaica. Camila says that she was glad all the girls could come together and turn up. She stated that she noticed the girls in the other house was looking like House B is a real vibe. That's because the other house thinks it has to be all drama all the time. That's all they want because that's what they think the Mount Olympians, y'all. <laughs> that's what I'm going to call us because we all tuned in, the Olympians. They think that's what y'all want. House B are the girls who just want to have fun. That's the girls just want to have fun house. So they discuss the fact that Roly and Suki are talking about, are talking, but Sapphire and Suki are not talking. Which I have to understand is drama hit different when it's someone you just met versus someone 
who's been your partner for years, you feel me? I can get past it faster if I just met you because you might not know the rules when it comes to me. But someone I've supped with and invited into my inner sanctum and you flip, yeah, that's going to hit a bit different because I expect more from you. I expect someone I don't know to cut up a little bit. But I don't expect someone that I know to flip-flop. I don't. So, Sky says it hits different when emotions get involved. And that's true. That's why you have to learn to think and respond without emotions. Emotions cause you to react instead of respond. That's a message. So, they start singing One Love. (laughs) And I just love House B. Uh, They start talking about Biggie being so lit and the fans loving her. Sky asked the girls how they feel about Smiley being gone, and she says she knows she's a liar, but she was still funny. And listen, Smiley is one of those girls that you can kick it with, but you can't trust, and that's what makes her dangerous. She's one of those girls who will pop off something in the club and sit back and watch y'all deal with the aftermath. Anyone as dehydrate as dehydrated as Smiley is dangerous because she'll do anything for clout. So I get why the girls were cool, nasty to her, right? So then the girls are talking about going to Chachuca for an excursion, and the girls are all excited about it. Um, Smiley even tells them that they can go topless. Now drop in the comments and let me know if you would go type topless on the island, if you would go topless in Jamaica. (laughs) So the girls are dancing out the door, and I would love a show with the girls in house B like touring hot destination spots across the world because they know how to have fun. I would love to see them have a a vlog show that's showcasing the best destination spots and places to stay and what to do and enjoy while turning up. I think that would be better for all of them than this because they're really not trying to have all the drama. Who the hell wants to spend their entire vacation fighting? Listen, I lost a whole friend on my first trip to Vegas because of poor behavior. You acted up in Vegas, sis, and see, I know how to cut you off with no hard feelings. I love you, but X marks the spot. I can't be surrounded by people I can't trust to act accordingly. I just can't. So I would love to see them have a show where they get to show us them having fun and enjoying these different spots so that's an idea y'all so we flash to drama central house a and mariah walks in with et and roly is uh et and roly are sitting on the couch and here comes natalie and sapphire joining the combo natalie starts talking about that's the most fun she's had with other girls And I hate that she's talking about them like the other girls are from another show (laughs) because they're so separated, right? Roly explains that uh, she spoke to Suki and that they realized that they really didn't want to fight each other and both of them feel bad and they apologize for everything they said. Uh, She went on to say that Suki doesn't have a problem with E.T., but she probably feels a way that something was thrown on her. E.T. goes on to say that she's kind of happy that they made up, but she uh, feels a way that she didn't have a conversation with her. E.T., these girls don't mess with you, honey. This is what you don't understand. This is a show, and it's all for show. Well, you know, (laughs) what you found out at at the reunion, that none of these girls mess with you like that because none of them had your back. You acted an ass on this show, and none of these girls held you down. None of them. So, uh, Roly tells Sapphire that Suki wants to work stuff out with her on her own. And I really don't know why. Leave this heifer with the females that she want to be with, Suki. You don't need her that bad. So now we flip the conversation. And she says, but she does have a problem with you, meaning Mariah Lynn. Mariah says, that's fine. And Natalie and Sapphire start laughing. Sapphire trying to look away to hold it. And I hope Suki is really paying attention to these episodes. They say hindsight is 2020. Suki, I hope you got 2020 vision running these episodes back. Now, now, 
we've been seeing trying to fit in Mariah up until this point, but now we're seeing love and hip hop Mariah. So she says, I'm going to take that. Then Roly goes on to say, uh, when her and Suki got into a fight, Natalie asked a question. Mariah interrupts her and says um, that she said, you see this shit? And she said, yeah, it's giving weird. And was Mariah. I feel you. It was weird. You had every right to say it was weird. Especially the fact that they're supposed to be friends. The whole situation was weird. And you had every right. I don't know where we get this ideology at that these girls feel like they get to control who responds to what and when. Everybody can say something but this person. Everybody can say something but that person. If this person says something, then we're going to jump down their throat. But this person can say whatever they want to. All y'all can go to... Let me just continue, because <laughs> I was about to go there. So, everyone can clearly see what Suki and Sapphire got into it for. But it wasn't clear, quote-unquote, you know, when Natalie and Scotty got into it. So it didn't make sense until we listened to Stone Cold Stunner Girl. But just watching the episode, everybody was stating, what? Over food? Nah. So then she continues and says, Suki said, um, what you mean is giving weird. They're friends. And she says, exactly, it's giving weird. Like her or not, you can't fault someone for telling the truth. This, this is my problem. There's no way I'm going to be around people that I call cool. And they get into it over some dumb ish. And I not say nothing when they're acting dumb. I'm going to tell them all, you're tripping and you need to get it together. We're not doing this. So I get it. So now here goes Sapphire. Child. Now you want to buck up. Now you want to buck up on someone who's smaller than you. Sapphire starts asking what's her problem with Suki. And she says, I don't have a problem. One minute, she helping me get my chain. And the next, she want me to go home. Now, we have to be real on this one. She did go hard to get her chain back. And then said Mariah didn't thank them. When we clearly saw that she hugged them both, both Suki and Sapphire, and told them both thank you. Here's the thing. Suki flips from being the advocate to the bully. Now, you can't just be okay when you're the bully, Suki. (laughs) You got to choose your struggle, mom. So she's telling Sapphire, I don't really know her like that. That's your friend. And here goes Sapphire. That's my best friend. Girl, bye. Just bye. So Sapphire starts asking her if she's still uh, talking about Suki. And she said, I said I wanted to have a conversation with her. And Sapphire continues to say about what if you don't care. Mariah says, because I don't care now. Now this, at this point, they could have let it all go, right? But in typical Zeus fashion, because this season was rushed and dropped in 2.2 seconds to compete with the cabaret, let's be honest, they had to make this thing bigger than it really was. So Roly asked Mariah why she's going off, he said, she said, and why would uh, Tatted Sky tell her that? The whole season has been based on he say, she say. The Biggie in in Entertainment Tonight situation was he said, she said. The Smiley and Mariah thing was he said, she said. The situation with Natalie and Scotty was he said, she said. This is what I mean by fillers. There's so many fillers in this show instead of just letting the show be the show. Because the setup queen herself, Natalie, knew this was going to turn on this girl. They could have been gearing up for a good time, but no. There's nothing but drama when it comes to Natalie. Unless there are only fans. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> so, this next session section was just so unnecessary. It was just unnecessary. Here goes Sapphire once again. You're inserting yourself into something that had nothing to do with you. If I'm on the trip, and it's affecting my ability to enjoy myself. Oh, I'm going to say something, honey. Get it together or get gone. But you will not dis- disrupt Jamaica for me. 
And I've never been, child. <laughs> and Miss Mams, didn't Rowley insert herself into something that didn't have anything to do with her? And that's how her and your best friend got into it in the first place? She wanted a moment, so she chose Mariah. And Sapphire says, that's why everyone is saying you have no loyalty. Do y'all even know what loyalty is? Loyalty isn't me agreeing with everything you do. That's what y'all want loyalty to be. It doesn't make her disloyal because she doesn't agree with the behavior of her so-called friends. That's that pick a side error, and it's very delusional. So Mariah says, I already had a feeling I was going to have to get into it with Pinky and the brain. Holler. You hear me? Because they are, and I can't unsee it. <laughs> so Sapphire's trying to get back in Suki's good graces because she knows what she'll lose if Suki walks away. Someone tell me why, just why, is she on Baddie's Caribbean? Why? But let's continue. Mariah comes out and says, we all were saying stuff. So here goes Roly taking her moment. Don't lie, but you, but, but you were. Do you not remember everything you said on the Sprinter? Do you not remember you being the one showing her video to the camera saying she needs to go home? Maybe it's that Jamaican ganja she's smoking because <laughs> Mariah didn't lie. So here's Sapphire. She don't take accountability for ish, girl. Pot, kettle. You get it? That's all I'm going to say, honey, because you have no room to talk. None. Mariah says, I'm not going to keep letting y'all assassinate my character. She says, it's funny how everyone has a problem with her. Roly, uh, with her, speaking of Suki, asked to say everyone has a problem with Suki, but she... They're jumping on her as if it's only her. So, Roly jumps up. And somehow, I think that everybody thinks Mariah is tussy. You know what I mean? But y'all must not have watched Love and Hip Hop. She ain't never been scary. Never. Actually, old Mariah would have been popped off. True facts. <laughs> Natalie is trying to tell Mariah about why everyone is mad. And Mariah says, it's funny Sapphire wasn't trying to fight Roly, but wants to come at her. Period, Mariah. Let it fizz, baby. Shake up them bottles, because that champagne holds some secrets. <laughs> Natalie starts asking her about repeating something. And Mariah looks at her and tells her, we've all been in the house having conversations. We're not going to do this. And this is the problem I have with House A. All they want is drama with these drug out storylines this could have all been done in one episode matter of fact it could have been done when mariah said she was over it but no y'all wasn't satisfied until y'all tried her to see what she was made of let's just be real y'all thought she was soft and wanted to try her so she calls natalie out for saying she was a flip-flopper bravo mariah about time somebody called this out because the fakeness is overwhelming. She tells them, I'm not scared of nobody but Jesus Christ. <laughs> Introducing Mariah Lynn. Y'all wanted her. Here she go. <laughs> and I know somebody is going to say, um, but what about what you said about her last episode, speaking of Mariah? Well, the fact of the matter is, two things can be right at the same time. It can be right that she was on bullish on the last episode. And it can also be right that she's standing up for herself and refusing to be bullied on this episode. Two things can be right <laughs> at the same time. So then you have Roly threw something at Mariah. And Mariah threw a water bottle back at her. Now Roly want to fight. So you wasn't expecting her. You wasn't expecting her. To stand up for herself you was expecting her to be sapphire and act scared but she's never been that <laughs> so here you have et laughing in the confessional and this girl looks like <sighs> i'm not gonna do that to her <laughs> i'll keep it to myself because i don't want to tear her down like that what makes me so mad at et 
entertainment tonight is you don't have a brain, Scarecrow. They say jump, you say how high. You would have been more likable if you would have been in House B just vibing out instead of letting them gas you up to be their enforcer. But now you wanted the clout or you thought you did and you got the wrong kind. The wrong kind. Being a go-along to get along girl doesn't pay off, does it? <laughs> so they flashed to House A on the bus and I'm mad. I'm mad because in the last video, I said this was going to be Sapphire's karma because I thought this was Roly talking to Sapphire, but she was actually talking to Mariah. So I had to clear that up. So they have a conversation and Natalie is talking about, she told Suki um, she felt she was a flip flopper because she doesn't really know what's going on. At the end of the day, a bully is a bully, Natalie. No matter what's going on in the situation and calling a thing a thing is not being a flip-flopper. It's not. Y'all got to realize that. So then you flip the house B and they're on the bus. And baby, when I tell you they are turned up. Tzatziki is twerking on Biggie head. <laughs> the whole bus is just turned up. And this is what I'm talking about. They are having fun. Do y'all know what that word is? F-U-N. We've gotten so addicted to toxicity and drama. Have we forgotten how to just have fun? You have Biggie being, uh, living her best life in Jamaica. And I got to say, this was Biggie's trip. Honey, Big Dominicana. This was Biggie's trip. Because she was turned up the whole way. <laughs> so... They get to the excursion and just look at the beauty of this. And y'all would rather fight than just enjoy this child. So, <clears throat> excuse me. You have E.T. being carried on the back of uh, security. They get on these rafts. And you have E.T. and her schman Roly on a raft. You have Anna and Camila together on a raft. You have Sky and Tzatziki together on the raft. You have Natalie and Scotty on a raft. And you have Biggie and Mariah on a raft. Um, they have champagne. They have music. And they're just vibing out. My thing is, I wonder what's in the water. See, I love the water, but I have respect for it. I love to swim. But anytime I'm near water, especially deep water... I know there's another world beneath that water, and I'm always wondering what's in there. <laughs> so, um, but they're having so much fun. Now you have Suki and Sapphire on the same raft, and Suki is saying she really don't want to be in the same raft as her, but looks like they were still enjoying themselves. And I'm just saying, put that to the side and enjoy yourself. There's a time and a place y'all can handle that later. So then it shows, and I forgot Bobby was on the trip. You got Bobby asking questions, the kind of questions that I would have asked. Sir, um, what's in here? Gators? Snakes? Sir, let me, sharks? Sir, let me know. I don't want to be surprised, like for real. So Bobby said, is it fish? No sharks? And I understand, because Bobby, I need answers. <laughs> you have Roly laying on the raft, and it's damn near under the water. But they're having fun, so I'm here for it. I'm here for it. E.T. starts swimming, and she says the instructor um, the instructor said that they're healing waters. Um, and I guess the healing waters didn't do nothing for that nasty spirit of yours. But if it heals the ankle, I guess that's a start. But thank you for showing the world that black girls do swim, sugar. Thank you. Because swimming is a passion for me. <laughs> and that we can get our hair wet. I love the water. I absolutely love it. I just respect what's in it. And know that whatever is in it, it's their territory. So I don't infringe, I don't infringe upon it. Nah, you got it, Joss. <laughs> That's all you. But you got uh, Bobby half-naked and, and, and dancing. Shaking my head, Bati boy, as they say in Jamaica. 
So Natalie is getting her mud massage and so do the other girls. And it's all just a vibe. Like, I am so here for this whole small short scene, as small as it was, because it just showed them vibing and having fun. Biggie jumps in the water with all her clothes on. And I keep telling y'all, this is Biggie trip. She ain't gonna let none of y'all stop her from enjoying Jamaica. <laughs> She's the star of this trip for sure because, honey, she was giving life the whole way. So Suki's raft happens to pass Mariah's raft, and here we go. And this is what I mean, Suki. You can't be a bully defender and be a bully at the same time. Like, come on. Y'all didn't have to say nothing to that girl. You didn't. Mariah says she's twerking, and all of a sudden she hears is thinks. Mariah and Biggie get off the raft, and here comes Suki and Sapphire raft, and they're still taunting her. Suki says, um, what made you comfortable enough to tell her best friend that she wanted to fight her? And I ain't hear that. And see, this is what where I have a problem with the editing-ish with Zeus, right? Because if she did say it, why not air it, Zeus? But Suki... Now she's your best friend again. I'm I'm so confused. Damn it, I wanted to crown you, Suki. Now I got to take the crown back. I have to because this isn't queen behavior, much like Nikki behavior online. But that's a different subject. Are y'all sure Suki ain't bipolar? You know, I'm just saying what I'm saying because the scene is saying. But... She goes into saying, stop harassing me. That's why what, that's what I'm saying. Y'all sure? This girl ain't saying nothing to you. Not on camera. Even the outburst in the club, it wasn't on camera. So there's no proof. She told people she wanted to fight her. There's no proof. So Suki starts saying her coochie stank. And big, Biggie yelling, yes it do. It's crazy. Come on now, Biggie. What I don't understand is why, why? Are these girls so obsessed with each other's tussie pads? Why? The only thing y'all can say is your tussie pad thing. Why? Come on, y'all. This is so remedial. Why couldn't y'all just continue enjoying the excursion, Suki? But I forgot. This is the self-professed queen of good coochie. Self-proclaimed, I must say. <laughs> so... Suki is talking about her stank, but it's still going to get eight and, and start slapping. I, I, can't, I can't. like Suki, please return the, the crown to aisle three. Because, girl, what? Why? So, Mariah is trying to explain herself to Suki. And here comes Sapphire because this is her moment, right? She feels she can run up on little old Mariah. So they're going back and forth and Sapphire is pushing Suki Raft back into the water so she can't stop her from dealing with Mariah. Sapphire playing hard for her friend with Mariah. But where was this for Roly, who showed your girls Tussie Pat all over the world, huh? Why you not mad at her? Suki Raft started floating away. <laughs> And she air paddling, trying to get back. Child, I holler. Because Suki sometimes be just too much. For real. Just too much. <laughs> Sapphire thought she was going to sling Mariah into the water. And Mariah said, baby, you coming too. She grabbed a handful of that hair. And they both went in that water. <laughs> And I think it was wrong for them to gang up on Mariah. I do. The same way that I think it was wrong for Roly and E.T. to gang up on Suki. You see how the narrative flips each episode? Y'all, all of this could have been handled in 10 minutes outside of showing them enjoying Jamaica on this excursion. I don't understand why we needed a whole episode devoted to them picking on Mariah. But Smiley is gone, so they needed a new victim. What do y'all think about this episode? Drop in the comments and let me know. Confidants, if it doesn't cause you to elevate, it's causing you to depreciate. 
Now raise those glasses, clink, and let's drink. Till we meet again, ta-ta.